It's on. We are live. <laughs> Hi everyone. It's the nerf for me. Anyone in there? I don't think there's anyone yet. Okay. Cool. Oh hi. <laughs> smoking, smoking mirrors are on. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, for you. Oh, for your reference. Hi. Hi, Katie. Hi, Ot. Oh, the tree. Thank you. This is all Jules. So I don't think anyone's really seen like behind the scenes. It's always just like on the camera. This is our first life, so I'm um, I'm trying to figure it out. But thank you. We haven't started yet, but if you have any questions, hit us up. We're about to start recording, but. Thank you for all the support, you guys. Really appreciate it. We'll be on live during the episode. Yeah. So you'll get to see how we record. <laughs> <laughs> what present do you want most this Christmas? Oh, my gosh. A, um, a house. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd love a house. <laughs> are, you, are you offering? Oh, Nymph is on! Hey, Nymph! Hey! Yes, so that's one of his questions. You have to answer it. Oh, okay. Um, so whatever questions you ask, we're going to answer it. What was the question? Uh, what do you want most for Christmas? What do I want most for Christmas? Um, socks? Undies? <laughs> I think my house one was better. <laughs> Hear that, guys? Socks and undies! Nah, I think this year, like, gift cards. Yeah, gift cards would yeah. help, eh? Yeah, gift cards, money. Most pipilo answer ever. <laughs> hey, Carly! Merry Christmas, you. Merry Christmas, Nibs! Hi, Carly! Oh, when are you both coming on From the Ground Up? We need to link. Yes, please! Please! Anytime. Anytime! Yeah. Three, two, up. Oh. <laughs> what a liar! <laughs> <laughs> Build up oh, already. Oh, uh, uh, let's start oh, again. Like... <laughs> All right, ready? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Welcome back to Indie Faith Podcast. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> I realized there's like three cameras and this thing, so I was like, which one do I look at? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for if you're listening um, to our episode as per normal, <laughs> we're also doing a live on Instagram. Um, yeah, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, how are you guys? I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's been I think five months. Yeah, yeah I don't know which camera to look at. I know. Now. I was like uh, that one. Um, maybe I'll put this on the stand. Yeah, it's been five months since our last episode. Um, we we weren't gonna do a Christmas. <laughs> we weren't gonna do a Christmas special. Yeah. Um, because of like a lot of things been happening. Um, but then, uh, thanks to Rob, <laughs> he um, kind of convinced us to get back in yeah. and just do one more for the year. Uh, yeah, right? I'm just gonna hold it. Sorry. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, have you been <laughs> in the five months? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Not much to report. I think it was just lockdown. Lockdown really did a number on us. That's yeah. why we haven't. We haven't physically recorded in like what since June. Yeah, I think that was the last time we recorded. So I'm good. Yeah, I like to be honest. I think the last episode we did 
was um, at, uh, like I'm going to put it on the table, but um, we did a <laughs> episode on COVID. Yes. Yeah. And um, not going to lie, around that time, like people were just too toxic. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just too much for me to handle. I got off social media. We stopped recording for a bit. And um, I just found that when I was on social media during that time, it was just like, it was making me angry. Yeah. And um, I'm usually a nice person, <laughs> but like, it was just amazing to see, uh, you know, people's true colors like ar- around that time. Yeah. And it was just too hard. And I, I didn't want to record with that, you know. Sort of energy. Yeah. 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 I think because a lot of people, not a lot of people, but I think some people were, were thinking we might have had a falling out or like, and we did. No, we didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I knocked her out. <laughs> she ate the last galo and I just had enough. No, nah. um, nah, we didn't have a fall yet. We just, nah. we really did need the break. The five months just did a number on us. Yeah. We're going through our own personal stuff. And um, yeah, like mentally, we just weren't in it. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's why we took a, a short break that turned into a long break. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because it was only supposed to be for a month. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, then I think like, because it was end of year anyway, like we just had shit on, like a whole bunch of shit on. Yeah. And especially when lockdown ended and then everybody, it was like everybody tried to fit <coughs> events into that, like, you know, um, because they had they had gone through lockdown and they couldn't do anything. Yeah. So then after lockdown, everybody was just like, you know, party here, party there. Yeah. And yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, I thought like, um, agree with Rob, but I think it's the right thing get back in and do a Christmas special. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for pushing us. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And thank you to everyone that's live. Hi, Maxine. Hi, sis. Hi, Maxine. Because you just need the mic closer. Hi. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) A bit rusty, eh? Yeah. I know, eh? Um, The other thing was when we we did the studio setup um, for Smoke and Mirrors podcast, like we we didn't have <laughs> like they had all their like little yeah, items and yeah. cubes and stuff and we're like what are we gonna do like we've got like i don't want to fill it up with just elies and <laughs> <laughs> and i think even one of the cousins was just like can you please not have just you know like, island stuff and cover like, bowls yeah, and, and i was like don't be mean yeah um the other thing was um unfortunately like we're rob and i um are, go- are gonna have to move house yeah so all of this is gonna come down i uh, was still in the process of looking for um a place a place yeah and i don't know if people have done that before but it is the hugest like pain in the butt yeah moving and like trying to find a place and yeah. trying to get approved and then once you do get approved trying to like get out you yeah. still gotta like clean the house that you lived in this is for people who rent, by the way. I know some people who buy it probably different, but with us, it's yeah, we're, we're renting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm renting. I, 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 I can't afford to buy. Yeah, nah. <laughs> One day. Um, but yeah, so uh, we didn't know if we should do an episode. Um, or we'll just wait till we're in the new place and we have got the our setup done as well. Yeah. But yeah, but we brought the garage out of the uh garage, <laughs> the Christmas tree out of the garage. Yeah. So. That'll do. It looks nice. It's beautiful. Uh, how were you in lockdown? That was the longest lockdown. That was, the, I think, five months. So end of June, because I was still going to, I didn't know. Like, I didn't take it that seriously because I went to my niece's, sorry, I went to my niece's um eighth birthday, but that that was the beginning of lockdown. So I went over and I'm like, oh, yeah, we're allowed to go over. And then I got messages from people like, you're not supposed to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing? And I was like, what do you mean? And like you're not supposed to be out and um, out and about. We're on lockdown now, and um, I don't know. For, in my head, I thought it was just temporary. Yeah, I honestly thought it was going to be like you know, like two, last year. Yeah. it was just a month. I didn't think it was going to be that long. Um, and you know me, I'm such a extrovert. Yeah, I cannot sit still. Um, I didn't cope very well in the beginning. Mm. Uh, it was really hard in the beginning, and I know people. You know, a lot of people went through you know mental. St- you know stuff during that period yeah i i'm not gonna lie i was one of those those people yeah um because like i said i'm an extrovert i need to be around people i need to be like you know interacting and socialize and whatever (coughs) but it actually did me a lot of good Mm. 
It really did. I, I forced myself to do things by myself and not yeah. lean on you people. You did really so well. I, I, I think towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because in the beginning, I was like, this is too hard. Like, I don't like this. And I was living, you know, just me and my baby. So, like, it was just, it was really hard to adjust. Mm. Um, so, I had to force myself to enjoy my own company. Uh, a lot of walks. I read a lot. A lot of good books. Um, That's good. Thanks to my friends they got for my birthday because lockdown was during that period as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, read a lot, walked a lot, wrote a lot. I find that was very therapeutic, um, writing a lot, especially in my diary. That's good. Yeah, so that was good. Um, I don't think I would have lasted <laughs> if they kept it longer. Um, I, I Obviously, you would cope because, you know, as humans, we just, we, we try to survive. Yeah. Um, but it was it was rough. Yeah. How did you find it? Yeah, I was the same. I, I usually love being at home. Yeah. Um, But this lockdown, nah, I was something different. Like, yeah. I was going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was it was too long. Yeah. Like, but um, last year, like, I was able, I was more productive. Yeah. But I, I think because of, um, you know, the whole vaccine thing, it yeah. just, and because you're at home and all you, you're, you're only on social media, that's mm. the only social interaction you get. Yeah. And because all I was seeing was just a lot of hate. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no, nah, it, it, it killed me, this yeah. lockdown. And not only that, like, good on you for walking. <laughs> uh, I did the opposite. <laughs> no, I, I was, I was just myself. eating. No, I, like, I had, you know, when I had um my baby in March, yeah, I lost weight, yeah, like after, and then <laughs> lockdown hit, yeah, and then it just like bl- I just blew up, yeah, and then um yeah. I, I I didn't go out for walks or anything. Uber Eats. <laughs> Bro, we paid to keep them in business. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Like, I'm all for supporting small businesses and that, honest. Like, but, man, some of those um, drivers, <laughs> those Uber drivers, bloody hell. Like, yeah. they might as well just, like, f- throw the food yeah. at the door. <laughs> they're, like, so aggressive. Yeah. And they're like, please rate me. <laughs> <laughs> they know. And then you're just like. My food squashed, man. Oh, we had um, we ordered macas <coughs> yeah. one time, and um, like everything in the order was just wrong. No, oh. like, and not only that, we had we had a double quarter pounder. You know what they had in the double quarter pounder? Not only was it diff, like the layers were wrong. Yeah, but they had mayo in it. Ew. Yeah, we didn't have that in the double quarter pounder. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, cousin. You think that put us off? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I did it. We just ordered it again the next time. <laughs> uh, question for when you get further in, but what is different from a Balangi Christmas and a Poly Christmas? I love Ooh, this question. that's a good question. That's a great question. Yeah. Did you want to answer it now? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the question. Oh, Katie also said, so important to know when you take, when you, oh, when to take a break and look after yourself. Too true. Yeah. So true. Yeah. And and w- it was much needed. Like I don't regret. Yeah. Having that um time off. Yeah. Um, I wish it could have been for work too. But <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Same. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, really, really, uh, open my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but for the Christmas, Balangi Christmas. I don't know. Like, what's uh, your Christmas like? Sorry, cuz. Oh my goodness! What's happening? Oh, sorry. Hi, Bucks. Hi, Nan. And Weave. Hi, Weave. Hello. I keep forgetting the mic is right here. <laughs> um, Balangi Christmas and a Poly Christmas. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this because um. Food. Okay. <laughs> I think food. Yeah. I think like uh <laughs> the amount of food. Yeah. Um. But us, I don't know. We we because we have a large family. Yeah. So we cook for double that. We do because there's always leftovers. So let's yeah. say it's a lunch. We still have heaps left over for the dinner. Yeah. And then like heaps to take home to have like for the next day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always days. Christmas Day and Boxing Day food. Isn't yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think Balangi is like you know they they just make just for the amount of people that are arriving. That's yeah. why RSVP is very important. <laughs> but we know RSVP never works. 
So we're like, oh, we'll just What's care for thing? this person and, and their whole family and, and their friend's family and, yeah. And their neighbour's family. <laughs> and our neighbours. <laughs> um, yeah. What about presents-wise? I think presents-wise for us islanders, like, growing up, it was it was not many. Like, I've noticed with um, Balangis, I used to hear a lot in school where um, Balangi kids would be like, oh, I got this, I got that, I, I had this thing and, and that thing and rah, rah, rah. Um, sometimes we'd get gifts that's for all of us. So yeah. one gift that's for all of us. True, yeah. Which was like, it was, we we're still grateful because it was, you know, like a Nintendo 64. I remember that was one of our Christmas presents mm. from one of our uncles. Yeah. And us six were just like, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, like we got yeah. a Nintendo 64. And I think because you guys had it, we were so envious. We we're just like, oh man, I wish we had that. Rah, rah. Uh, and our parents were not going to buy us one. They were like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want to play, you can play these and then come back. Yeah. But we're not buying one because um, I think back then it was about the same price as what, like, an Xbox and a PlayStation 5 is. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so when we got that as a collective, we, we were still so excited because um, we could all play it together. Yeah. It just sucked because, you know, four players, six of us. <laughs> the last two losers, like, they have to swap. Yeah. <laughs> Which sucked because my brother, he's like a gun at the games. Yeah. That guy would never swap with anyone. We're just like, can you <laughs> yeah. give us a turn, please? Uh, now nah, you lost. It's you know the next person. Yeah. So it was mainly my brothers. They're really good, and I was always one of the ones who had to swap. Like you know, oh you're out next. <laughs> Have you ever played with a um played games with a parent? Yeah, our parents used to play. Yeah. And then in the end, you know how you slowly just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> like all of a sudden, you're not even in. You're not even playing anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I used to be like, um, we, we were playing first. Because it gets super heated. Yeah. And super competitive. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like first one to 10. But then when they get to 10, it's like, oh, you know, 20. Actually, it's good that Bucky's on live too because uh, you know the story. <laughs> <laughs> when our dad um played, we, we had Mario Party. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mario Party. And uh, <laughs> and you know where um whoever has the most stars Yes. Um, wins. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad was playing. <laughs> and um, my dad, uh, Bucky, the full ruthless stole dad's stars. <laughs> That's <laughs> and, then, and then dad, man, he, like, he got so upset. And yeah. then he, um, he was like, oh, is this what you're going to do for your <laughs> when you grow up? <laughs> you're going to steal from me? <laughs> and then the whole, like, you know, have a heart. <laughs> This is what you do to your parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, it's just a game. This but. is savage, man. No, but you guys used to always do that too. Like, you know how um, in Mario Party where it goes, you know, you steal stars and then you pick who you want to steal the stars from? Yeah. Yeah, I used to be sitting there, please, please. <laughs> please. And you're actually begging them like while they're deciding. You're like, oh, please. <laughs> and then you see all your coins and like, you know, your stars disappear and you're just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fun times, fun nah, times. My parents were the Mario Kart. Oh, you know Mario Kart? Yeah. yeah so it's first one to 10, first one to 20. See, I liked Mario Kart until the boys found um those shortcuts. Yeah. Uh, nah, I'm not playing. And they'd always win. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, please. And then like, I try and do it. <laughs> I know. Jump. Especially that one where like it's like a hole in the wall and you got to jump through it. <laughs> I'm always just hitting the damn wall. But these guys are just like... Even if you get like a mushroom to go quicker or the star, I'm like, yes, I got that, like a backup. So then when I go up the ramp, I'm just hitting the palm tree in the fucking game. <laughs> and then it used to suck because my brother would come right behind me yeah. and just go in and I'm like, man. <laughs> um, oh, what did he say? Katie's asking, what's a Christmas tradition from childhood you would keep and one you'll drop? That's a good question. Oh, what did Weaver say? It's not like online where kids are in their own TVs. We were right next to each other. <laughs> I know way. <laughs> well, do you, or I used to always hear, your screen looking. Don't, don't, look, your screen look don't look at my screen. <laughs> don't look at my screen. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at the same screen though. It should be funny. It's one TV. <laughs> no, but it's like four. It's divided into four. Yeah. But it's a small S TV. So you're just like, where else am I supposed to look, man? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, but Katie's on tradition from childhood. You will keep and one you'll drop. Um, I don't think we had a tradition when I was a child. I'm trying to think of one if we had one. 
Um, I think. Oh, was- actually, yes, Christmas Eve. Yep. Um, we used to have. Dad used to do a local right before. He would do that. Yes. Um, twelve o'clock. Yeah. So then, straight after we do the prayer, uh, family prayer. And then um, we all say, like, Merry Christmas. Oh, that's sweet. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I miss that. Yeah. We haven't done it now because um, a lot of us have moved out of house. Um, yeah. You know, we've got our own place now. But yeah. I do miss that and I wish we, we, we could get back to it. But, you know, busy now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think ours was just, like, always – there was always a get-together. Like, that was yeah. our tradition was always – there was always a get-together. And it was really good because, um, like, our uncles and aunties – they would make a day of it. Yeah. So whether it was like a beach day or like, you know, or at someone's house, there was always something. Yeah. So I think I'll keep that, like make sure we always try and like be with family. Mm. Um, one I would drop, I think the, um, I don't think it's something I would drop, but it's, it's something I'm trying to put like instill into Brooklyn. Cause she's all about presents, man. And I get oh, it. Cause you know, yeah. kids, you know, they're all about presents. Um, but I, I try and teach her like, it's not just about presents. Mm. Um, but then she's very sassy because she's like, oh, well, I, I know I'm getting presents. <laughs> yeah, true, right? And I'm just like, you can't expect presents. Like, yeah. you know, um, I think that's what I'm trying to teach. Mm. I would say I would drop presents, but that's that's never going to happen. Um, mm. <coughs> um, I, don't, I don't know what I'd, I'd drop because we didn't really have my, um, many Christmas traditions. Yeah. When we were younger, every year was different. Yeah, that was the only probably the only consistent oh, thing. Sorry. Yep. Um. Oh no! Where did I go? My bad. <laughs> um. Yeah, <laughs> I think that the only consistent thing was that family prayer right before midnight. Um, yeah. And then yeah, every year was pretty different growing up. Yeah. Um. But that was a great question. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um. I have a question. Why are um. <coughs> Why are islanders so proud to ask for help? If you're on live, <laughs> you can answer that as well. Yes, <laughs> yes, please. Um, but I noticed that a lot of us, even at work, yeah, like at work, yep. Um, whenever we do something, even though we're struggling, yeah, we it's so obvious we're struggling, yeah. But somebody will ask for help. And like, nah, nah, I'm alright. I, uh, I got it. I got it. I got this. <laughs> totally, you're just sweating. Let me be. <laughs> Let you just leave. Leave me alone get lost <laughs> even though you're crying for yeah. help like you're just so desperate for like help you're just like no nah, i got this well even like family like you know when um like i think that whole financial thing like yeah. you know people ask you for money like is really sort of killed it for us to yeah. <clears throat> even want to ask someone else yeah. um so when someone's offering to help you yeah you you uh, we always think like oh, i don't want to burden them yeah. or, or or they look at their lives and be like oh well you know yeah i don't know if you're in a financial position yes. to help me but you know what i mean like yeah. why are we so proud f- prideful yeah i think for me it's 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 something we were brought up with kind of yeah. thing like um you don't ask anyone for help you just suss it out yourself yeah um because we're quite um i don't know what's the word proud <laughs> that's yeah i just i don't know i i think um for me it's really hard to ask anyone for help yeah um because like you said you don't want to burden anyone yeah but also i feel better if i do it myself yeah like if i've accomplished something by myself it makes me feel better true um that's just why i do it i i, I get that i get told that a lot like you're too proud like you're stubborn yeah like you know you can't do it by yourself and you know in some instances i can't but then if you look at like um i I don't want to be stereotyping here but if you look at other nationalities yeah a lot of them do really well because they accept help from other people Mm -hmm. um you know like if if you know if somebody's like off i I don't know uh, any situation money wise house wise whatever yeah um they all help each other and and they all become successful. Yeah. But for us, we we focus too much on just like, you know, doing it ourselves. Yeah. And like we'll we'll sort of um like, you know, we'd rather die than Yeah. Like, we'd rather struggle. Like, yeah. <laughs> we'd rather us. be homeless and yeah. like accept for help. Yeah. Accept the help. But yeah. yeah. Uh, it was just something we were talking about this morning yeah. and I was like, oh man, maybe we should talk about that. But yeah. I know I need to work on it. 
Um, Me too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's 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 hard to like switch off. Yeah. Um, because you're just so used to doing things your own way and just doing it by yourself that you you're like, oh, I can do this. I don't. Yeah. Need help. But um, you're right. It's <coughs> like how we were raised as well. Yeah. Because I don't remember. Like obviously, like you know, your parents have their siblings or you know family. But even then, like like sometimes when I obviously come to you or I mm. go to my siblings if I really need to. But outside help, yeah. Even though there's resources out there to help us, we're still like, nah, more. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay. That's a that's a palangy thing. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I also noticed like uh, it might also um be the same thing. But when we when we grew up and we go to other people's homes, like you know, um, our moms would always say, if they ask you for water, don't accept yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. If they ask you for food, don't accept it. Don't yeah. go in their cupboards, blah, blah, yeah, blah. So just, we just sit there. Yeah. So I think that that's also another thing. Yeah. It's like we've been conditioned to like yeah. not ask for anything. Yeah. Which is, is, it's good in one sense. Yeah. But it's also bad in another because no one really knows what you want. Yeah. Because you don't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we get mad because they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, oh, let me just look into my crystal ball. Like, you didn't <laughs> tell me anything. And I'm like, okay, sorry. Ooh. Um, I actually should have, like, now that we're doing the live, I should have uh, put down some more Christmas questions. That's all right. Um, what's three things you wish you learned as a kid? Three things I wish I learned as a kid. This is both, like, like if I wish my parents or school taught me. Um, how to do, like, you know financial stuff yeah i wish i had learned that in school yeah um like <clears throat> like what the hell am i gonna do with a pythagoras theorem <laughs> i know I... like i don't i wish i had learned you know about how to like manage my finances how to be better with money how to um you know figure out what you know different ter- like things are like term deposits or mm. savings or, or anything like I find that um, a lot of us, when we finish school, start working, we go straight into like getting ourselves into debt. Yeah. Um, but it's only because we don't know anything else. Yeah. Um, it's you know what our parents knew, what we they don't teach us in school, and I get why they don't teach us in school, but I also think that's rubbish because I'm like that would have really helped me when I finished school. Yeah. Because I did get into a lot of debt. Um, you know, when you finish <laughs> school because you're young, you, yeah. you just think, oh, you know. It's it's not my money, so I'm just gonna spend it, and then you realize, hang on, you got to pay it back plus interest. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, damn. What's interest? I know. <laughs> I never learned this. I never learned that. So even when they're telling you, you know, the interest rate is this, you, you're not really processing it. You're yeah. just like, give me the money, and then once you get it, and then you have to start making repayments. You're just like, oh crap. Yeah. Like you know, interest. Um. So that's one thing I wish I had learned as a kid. A second thing is, um, I know we already talked about it one of our our topics, but, um you know, sex education, mm. um, that would have been really helpful. You know, I don't mean it in the sense of, you know, as a young kid, I wanted to have, you know, sex. I just mean, um, I wish I had learnt more. Yeah. So I could have been more prepared for different situations that occurred throughout my, my life. Yeah. Um, cause you really don't know anything. Yeah. And, um, we already talked about it in our episode, but it's just that stigma of no one talks about it. I know. Eh? And, um, yeah, so that's a second thing. Um, third thing, I think would have been um, how to like set yourself up so you can eventually get a house. Yeah. That would have been my main thing. Um, Cause you know, when you're young, you think, you know, when I get older, I'm just going to buy a house. Yeah. And then when you finish school and you start working, you're like, so at this rate, I'll be able to buy a house when I die. <laughs> <laughs> like that's, you end up being like, Oh, like it, it gets further and further away yeah. from your reach because you really don't understand what it is like the steps you need to take to get there yeah um so those are three main things i wish i had learned as a kid it's three things now that i really want my child to know yeah yeah um because i don't want her to finish school and then make the same sort of mistakes i made yeah um because i don't know you just want to set yourself you're not just yourself but your kid up so that they succeed in life yeah so yeah if you guys on, are on live, for those that are on live, you can um, feel free to answer the questions as well. We'd like to hear what you think yes. as well. Another question is, uh, what's a food dish you have to have on Christmas that's not galo? <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Rob. <laughs> food dish. Man, it has to be like like roast something. But he, he said, you don't mean galo. That's mine. There has yeah, to be galo. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Like, even in my family's group chat, because we're all bringing a dish, 
Uh, my mum, you know, it was, you know, what are you bringing? And I told her what I'm bringing. And then, because I didn't see anyone say kalo, I was like, is anyone making kalo? <laughs> and then I wrote, dot, 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 please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, please, can someone make kalo? And then my mum, kalo face, she was just like, yeah, I'll make kalo. And I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Kaz, that's my, it's, uh, there has to be yeah. kalo for yeah. me. That's my number one. Yeah. Um, cause it's so gonga, man. It's so expensive. So like, I don't think I had color much this year cause it's just, it's just too expensive. Yeah. So that would be mine. I'm trying to think of a second so I can at least help the cuz out, but I think mine's mainly color. What's yours? Oh, you said roast. Yeah. Like anything like roast pork, roast. You guys make yum roast pork. That's delicious. Thank you. you yeah. Thank you, you guys make, and the gravy that you use. Oh, schmick. Color was assumed. <laughs> <laughs> What do we ever say? What's one of your favorite or memorable presents you ever had? Ooh, ooh, damn. Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. Good question, my cuz. Um, you know, I love all my presents. <laughs> what a liar. <laughs> the bill, <old> man. <laughs> hey, I've got three family members in this damn thing. <laughs> so if I say one thing, the other ones will be, oh, really? Yeah. Um, Favorite Christmas present. I can't think of one. I'm trying to like think I think I can't one. think of one that stands out the most. I already mentioned ours. My most memorable one was that PlayStation. I mean, not PlayStation, Nintendo sixty four. I I think the the biggest one we got was the um Mac, the iMac. Oh wow! Yeah, when we moved house, <laughs> um, the boys the boys got us that. Oh, I remember that. That, that was a big one. Oh my gosh, Buggy. Oh no. Right. Buggy said snow globe. <laughs> this guy won't let me live it down, man. Oh, and Rob said I'm back. And Rachel said, think it can, um, what does it say? Think it can depend on your culture. I absolutely have to have some Uruguayan food or else it wouldn't feel like our family Christmas. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm, yeah. Who's that? Rachel. Oh, hey, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Okay, Bucky, I need to talk about the snow globe now. Yes. Go for it. <laughs> Look all the young ago, man. <laughs> okay, so when I was little, uh, my uncle got me this this beautiful snow globe with my picture in it. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, sure. Let me hold it. <laughs> um, yeah, uncle got me this beautiful snow globe um, that had my photo in it. It was like a baby photo. And uh, I, don't, I forgot where it was sitting. <laughs> but... Um, you guys came over, so my cousins came over, Jules and her brothers came over, and uh, we were playing around, whatever, and then it smashed, and then I started crying, because back then I was a real sook, I'm still a sook, but whatever, um, so it, cr- it smashed, and then my mum got really angry, and she lost it at my cousin, my cousin Bucky, full lost it, and then um, Bucky's mum, my auntie, she and my mum started arguing, so they started getting into it, and then it just got into a real bad, like, row. Uh, and that was like, you know, growing up, that's been the story. Like, you know, Bucky broke my snow globe. And then I found out, I think not long before his 21st birthday, mm. he told me straight out that um, it was me that broke the snow globe. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, man. So it was actually me that caused the whole like, you know, stuff between our poor moms and then like all, all this time. It was years. I was only like really little. So it was like not long before his 21st. That's like what? <laughs> 15, 15, 20 years, like, the gap. And then I finally found out it was actually me, so so my cousin won't let me live that down. So um, I guess the most memorable is the snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> the damn snow globe. Full grudges guy. I, I knew he'd bring it up, man. <laughs> Sorry, cuz. Sorry, cuz. Um, and we've said, um, and were you ever upset with a present? And Rob was like, ooh, we were with the drama. I know. Um, Drama set of questions. I think I was really, really little. I don't know who got me this oh, gift. Katie said, Auntie Smackdown on Christmas. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. It was honest, like, like apparently it was really, really bad. It's one of the most memorable fights. <laughs> well, not fights, but disagreements that our mums had because we still hear about it even today. Yeah. Um, and it was all my fault. So I'm so sorry to my cousin. <laughs> so sorry to my mum and my auntie. <laughs> I broke the snow globe. I'm going to buy him a snow globe for Christmas now. <laughs> 
I'm oh, sorry. You should. Yeah. You should just get a picture of uh, myself. <laughs> get a picture of um, our mums on. <laughs> All right. Um, were you ever upset with a present? Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, I don't know who got me this gift. I was really, really little, but um, I opened it and it was like this massive hardcover book. Um, like it was just a thick as novel type of book. And mm. you know, when you're a little kid, yeah, you don't want a book, <laughs> especially one with no pictures. Like I was so like shocked. I was. I opened. And you know how you have to be grateful. I was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was very just like. Because <laughs> it was a really intense book. I don't yeah. even think I could pronounce a lot of the words when That's I started reading it. So when I when I opened it and I I just started going through it, I was like, maybe there's pictures or something. Yeah, I can't even remember what the name of the book was because it was just it was one of those books that's way too advanced for for a kid. Yeah. Um. Well, I guess for myself, but that was my <laughs> I wasn't the, the happiest about that prison. Um. What's that? I don't think I was ever upset with the present I got for Christmas. Even the Aussie hat that I got my first Christmas <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> I loved it. I love that hat. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Um, what else? Um, oh, yeah, to answer my one. Uh, oh, no. Actually, what show or character were you scared of growing up? Um, I'm not gonna lie. When I was little, you know the Grinch. <laughs> Shut up, we were What did we say? Say Albert Bello. <laughs> Just don't lie. I was gonna say the same. <laughs> Aussie hat. What a liar! <laughs> no, nah, legit. Like, I think when I was younger, we didn't get many presents. Yeah. Um, and then my first present was when I was here in Australia, and I was oh, like okay. ten, and I was a hat, and like. <laughs> It was an Aussie hat. Oh, but because I don't think you're lying. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> even kidding. <laughs> it was legit just a hat, and it like you, you could, you know, you, you could tell it's a hat from like a petrol station or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, but actually, I'll say that one then. No, <laughs> but I did love that. Hat. I wore it to school every day. <laughs> <laughs> so proud, <laughs> true blue. <laughs> um. Yeah, sorry. What show or character were you scared of growing up? Yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't a huge fan. Oh, sorry. I wasn't a huge fan of the Grinch. I just didn't understand why he was like that. Oh, really? I just did not. It's it's still one of my, like, the, the one of my favorite scenes, like, that I laugh at even to this day is, you know, the tablecloth scene? Yeah. That's still one of my favorite scenes, like, that makes me laugh hard out. But I hated the Grinch. Are you scared of <laughs> I was it? Scared of him. I was like, why is he so, like, and you can see his body, like, like everything oh yeah true the eyes to, the eyes were like yeah weird. but even like you know the the buttocks region like they didn't do a great job covering <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a huge fan of that guy man what about you uh fetch and petty wise oh. the, um yeah it yeah um tim curry <laughs> That one scared me off all clowns for <laughs> for a while. For a while. Like we had a um a sticker on the wardrobe. Did you want me to hold it, cuz? Oh, sorry. Yeah, we had a um a sticker on the upstairs bedroom wardrobe. Yeah. And it and it was uh, you know, Ronald McDonald, Grimace, yeah, all of them. And I uh, and because I was scared of um, Pennywise, I was scared of Ronald <laughs> McDonald. <laughs> Hey, clown phobia is a real thing. I don't know what it's called, but it's a real thing. Oh my gosh, Mark. What? Mark's like body shaming cancelled. Because <laughs> I body shamed the Grinch. Oh. <laughs> Relax, man. I know it was your favourite. <laughs> I'm joking. I love you. Oh, Carly asked something. On Christmas presents, do you write from yourself or do you let Santa the C words like the <laughs> nah, man. Oh, that guy. man. Nah, I don't do Santa. Sorry. No, nah, I, I, I have been for the last, I think since Brody was three. Why? Uh, yeah, I know. But honest, this year, me and Rob, because, you know, we're, like, we're kind of broke this year. <laughs> and we're like, fuck nah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we shouldn't give him anything from Santa. <laughs> so I've been doing the whole undercover, like, are you on the naughty list? 
<laughs> but I was like, nah, that's mean. So this year we're going to get a, a cheap ass present from Santa. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's been man. getting a lot of the credit yeah. last two years. We've been giving him like. Yeah. You guys you know, got a mad ass gift last year. Yeah. We got a, um, an iPad. It said that was from Santa. So yeah. like, I was like. <laughs> Stop saying something. And I was like, I would take that iPad back. And he was like, no, I got it from Santa. Yeah. Like, all right. Um, the Kmart toy, as I say, is from Santa. Like, you know, the blocks. Yeah, I should have done that. But this year, <laughs> the yeah. expensive stuff, nah. This year, he's going to get like a fitted rock for <laughs> or something. They got him a carrot or something. Yeah. Oh, we do that whole thing too. We put the carrot outside for oh, like, yeah. and then Rob will go and like smash it up the night before. And then in the morning, he's like, oh, the reindeer came and ate it. Oh. You guys are so good. I, no, I don't do that. I'm like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> Last year, he went to go smash the carrot, but it, t- it took a while because he was outside. I was like, what's taking him so long? <laughs> he came in, he was like, there were slugs all over that <laughs> carrot. <laughs> Poor guy, like, this isn't worth it anymore, man. This time is not real. <laughs> it comes in like tears. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Katie's asking if you could only choose one Christmas song and all others disappear. Oh no. I I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of the you know Mariah Carey. Yeah, uh, I'm not so a, sick of that. Because mum puts that on repeat every year. Oh really? But one I can't get sick of wait, so or sorry, what was the question? I think Katie's asking if you could only choose one Christmas song and all others disappear. So I'm I'm assuming like what's one song you would keep? And then every other Christmas song. Oh, uh, um, damn. Um, <laughs> this is hard. Yeah. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, all I want for Christmas. I think mine is Silent Night. I'll keep that. Oh, is it like an like an actual carol or like an a song from an artist? Mine is Silent Night by Boys to Men. Oh, okay. I would. I would. I can listen to that like on repeat. I would say Last Christmas. <laughs> okay <laughs> i i never get sick of that song I'm, yeah. not, I'm not afraid to admit That's it true. i love that song and i think everybody that shit on that song are, are secretly playing in yeah <laughs> so don't lie. That's, a that's what you open your presents iconic, to iconic iconic so uh, yeah. by um um wham yes yeah, that's exactly what um <laughs> katie just said what she was like put some respect on my wham yeah <laughs> she's like yes <laughs> <laughs> rob's like the john lennon one. <laughs> oh damn it yeah Oh, nah, nah, I'll go, go, wham. Yeah. <laughs> wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man, like, because we've been on social media a lot, there's been a lot of videos um, out. Yeah. And um, a lot of them, they, there was this one TikTok post, like Samoan guy, and he kind of encouraged other Samoan guys <laughs> to only date Palangis and don't date the Samoan because um, of the Fala we love is. So like the Samoan customs. I don't know why that's just on females. <laughs> I think it's be- oh, I'll just let you finish because but the no no no. That, uh, <laughs> but that was the video. So he he um, and then yeah, it was posted on I think Samoa more Samoa page. Yeah. Um, and then you had a video as well that was similar. Yeah. So I I probably like link it or put it on our story yeah but your one was funny though it was yeah, funny as hell it was really good i'll share <laughs> it on instagram one of my mates sent it to me and uh it's, it's straight facts and yeah. i couldn't stop laughing and then part of like you know sometimes you get a bit like well damn like you know can't <laughs> but oh, at yeah. the same time you're just like it's facts <laughs> where's the lie um but the one about the fat love love is i think it's because with with guys someone guys getting with girls who aren't someone they know if it was a someone girl they still try and like keep up the traditions and you know fat love and love is like for mm. us as girls like with my experience i would tell my partner like you know i have to send money for this or i have to give money for that and we do it and i feel like it's because the girl is sort of like the alpha <laughs> yay whereas if they get with a palangi girl um of course the girls because the girl's the boss she's gonna yeah. be like no you're not sending money to them what, what for like you need to support us you need to do this you need yeah. to do that um i think that's why it's mainly on us girls because we still try and, and make our parents happy. Yeah. Um, even though we know we're struggling so bad, we still try. Yeah. Whereas I think it's different for guys. They can easily just be like, oh, my gingy said no. <laughs> yeah. My non-Samoan gingy said no, so I can't do it. Yeah. Um, 
And I think that's why. That's just what I'm assuming. I could be wrong. Like if you yeah. guys think it's a different, you know, um, reason, then you know, go for gold. I'm I'm not saying it's wrong or you know this this side's right. I'm just saying from my experience, it's easier for me as a Samoan girl to tell you know a partner who's not Samoan, hey, you know, mum needs money for this or my siblings need money for that or you know my grandparents need money for this. It's a lot easier for me to get my way, <laughs> which is bad. It's it's a bad thing. Um, whereas I think with Samoan boys, it's um, it's a lot harder for them to to try and assist their parents or you know have that same sort of feeling of wanting not wanting to help. I'm trying to think of a nice way to say it without throwing the guys under the bus. Um. So like, <coughs> so what do you mean? Like if um, the guy, um, if he was with a Samoan girl, mm. like what would that situation be like? I feel like if a Samoan boy is with a Samoan girl. They know what the traditions are. They yeah. know what's expected. And then with the balangi? With a balangi girl, the girl can easily just be like, no, we can't do that. No, we, we're we not going to do that. Um, that's just what I'm assuming. Okay. Because, like I said, from experience, it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was easy. Like, we obviously have disagreements with your partner who's not a Samoan. Yeah. Um, as a girl, I'd be like, you know, I need to do this. And as, as frustrating as it was for that person, yeah. they would eventually just be like, they want to make you happy. Yeah. Go and do it. Um, Rob is saying as a non-poly, I do still push jewels to keep with traditions. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I, and I think that's the difference with a, uh, a, a guy who's not someone. Yeah. That's yeah, the true. difference I find. Cause I, that's the same as when I was with Jordan. Yeah. Um, he would say the same. Yeah. He would be like, you know, he, he'd obviously voice his opinion, but he would also just be like, um, you got to do what you got to do then. Like if you have it, then, then do it. Yeah. But it really just depends, I guess. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, I but what it like? To be honest, when I when I saw that video, I I was like, p- like pissed off. <laughs> like yeah. I just it made it. Oh, not pissed off actually. I I found it like it did cut me, but then it was also like amusing to to yeah. to just see him just shit shit on us yeah it's like bro if you want to go with a, a balangi girl fine that's you know? all good yeah but don't shit on us yes, for it 100 it's like but if i love you love is that's for both you know men and women yeah. and, and everything you know yeah um so like why would you you know like why would you encourage other someone men not to date someone women mm. just because of fight love you love is yeah like i think like, there's more to that but I found that in school, like, to be honest, like, when I, um, like, in school, there were there were times, like, I was interested in Islanders back yeah. then, but they were clearly not, like... Interested in us girls. Yeah. yeah. And, <clears throat> like, and I'll be honest, a lot of it was to do with, like, how we, how we look. Yeah. Um, you know, whereas, like, obviously, Balangese are more fragile, like, slimmer yeah. <laughs> and all that. But I don't know if it's like the, it makes them feel superior, you know, like the guys or the girls, the guys to Maybe, be with yeah. a Balangi girl. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I was like, like, do you, man? But don't don't shit on yeah. us. Like, yeah. if you can't handle a strong Samoan woman, then like, yeah, <laughs> cool. But don't say it's because <clears throat> of our lovey love is. I was like, I think it's a bit slack because um, like a lot of our family members have Balangi partners. Yeah. Like I don't think any of us have Samoan partners. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Um, and we don't have that sort of, you know, you shouldn't date. Like, we're, just because we're not with Samoans doesn't mean we're not dating them because of fat love and love is. Yeah. It, yeah. You can't help who you fall for, obviously. Exactly. But, like, um, <laughs> but it's not, it doesn't give that guy the right to be like, yeah, don't date Samoan girls yeah. because they're just too much of a hassle. Like, if you if <coughs> if they fall for a Samoan girl, like, don't shit on them for it. Yeah. <laughs> like, each to their own, but, yeah. like, you know. I think he did cop quite a lot though, and he removed the video in in the end. Oh uh, yeah, there were a lot of funny ones though. Yeah, a lot of funny responses. Yeah, <laughs> I liked um, I think one. Oh, I forgot her name, Langi. Yeah, yeah she I seen responded, that one. and she's responded all in Samoan. And I think um, her doing that made it even more like, like in your face. Like, yeah, like she burnt him. <laughs> yeah, because she was also trying to say like, you know, with Samoan girls, they help look after your family. They help look after, you know, your parents, like who's, you know, they go make yeah. your par- parents' coffees or, you know, they're there for your parents. Who, you know, can, can your you know, Balangi girlfriend do that? Mm. And I'm not saying that's all Balangi girls or all Balangi guys, <clears throat> but she was trying to obviously stick up for us Samoan girls. Yeah. Who, um, we do cop a lot of crap, especially from Samoan guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to work on that. <laughs> but it's, um, 
like uh, what I loved. Um, cause she, uh, Bro, my brother's so. You forgot a girl named Lungy. Huh? Because I said I forgot her name, and then I said Lungy, oh. and then he was, "Yes, I know we have a sister named Lungy, but I wasn't referring to her." This guy's full roasting me on this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <but laughs> so shit! I can't think now. Yeah, true. But what I liked, um, the thing that I liked um, about one of her points um, on her video was when she said, um, you know, with with someone, because like we know our, our, our customs and that. Yeah. And then she goes, if there's a, a if something happens to your parents, like who's going to be the one to go do all the like yeah. someone traditional stuff? Yeah. Is your Balagi girl going to come and do that? Yeah. Is she going to do the swirl? Yeah. Like, you know, or whatever they call yeah. it. But yeah. Is she going to do um, all the fit owls? Or yeah. <laughs> it was straight facts, though. Like, she had a point, and I was just like, she she did it. But then he did – I only saw it because I saw her video first. Yeah. And then I clicked on his, and he it, it was gone. So I was really annoyed I didn't actually get to see the video. Oh, I, I saw his video. And then at the end there, he was like – because he was saying it all in Psalm 1. Yeah. And then he goes um, – and then he – because he had his Spalangi girl in the car – but then he was an egg too because he um, not only was he like he said what he said about the whole Samoan girl thing, and then he turns around and then he asks his Balangi girlfriend questions, and then she was like, he was like, um, um, oh, what's that? Oh, you know, fail like, yeah, uh, like um, it's our Sunday school thing, like, that, yeah, like who made you? Yeah. And then she said God in Samoan, and then he goes, um, something about oinga ele muli, and like. And obviously, like, like he shit on her, like in time yeah, one, yeah. <laughs> and said he so basically contradicts. Said, yeah, <laughs> he basically said to her in her face, but in time one, like, who eats us? Yeah. <laughs> Such so, egg, man. <laughs> anyway, oh. <laughs> I see that. I was like, we have to talk about that. <laughs> okay, Mark, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he goes two gens. <laughs> Yeah, I'm calling you after this, man. <laughs> I'm calling you after this. Oh, that video of that Bali boy. He threw a shake at, oh, um, yeah. at the Macca's employee. I and then he stood it. on the counter. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I saw that. And then the Islander guys came and took him out of the, the Macca's. Yeah. Um, uh, I, to, to when I first saw it, what I saw was like a spoiled brat. Yeah. And like being very disrespectful, yeah. And then these Islander guys came and just grabbed him and threw him out because we don't like that sort of stuff, yeah. You know? That sort of behavior, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but when I looked at the comments, yeah, those guys got a lot of hate. They did, and um, was, um, a lot of people said that you don't touch, um, you know, someone else's kids, yeah. and yeah, there were a lot of comments that uh, against those guys, yeah. which I was surprised at. But then when I yeah, and I don't like. I didn't know how I felt about that after. <laughs> to be honest, you're, 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 you were like, you know, he was a spoiled brat. I, I honestly felt the same way. I thought he was being, you know, really spoiled. He yeah. was being naughty. But um, I didn't like it. Like what yeah. the Samoan guys did. I, I'm, oh, I'm really? Gonna be on, I didn't like it. Because um, <clears throat> like, you know, I as a parent, if I saw that and I saw someone, you know, manhandle my kid like that, I would full lose my shit. So I didn't like it. I understood why he did it because yeah. you know, us as islanders, we don't tolerate that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, if we did that, our parents would like. That's exactly what our parents would do. But the difference to me is that's our parents. That was what I didn't like. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Fair point. For me, if I was there, I would have tried to find this kid's parent. That's what I would have True. done. True. Um, and been like, yo, like you know, as an adult, control your kid. Because mm. for me, like when I take Brooklyn out in public, um, and she misbehaves, that's on me. <laughs> It didn't look like his parents were around. I That's, didn't see that. I completely that. get that, which is why I think I understand why they did it. Because we, as islanders, like I said, we are not, we just have a very low tolerance for that sort of behavior yeah, in public. Yeah, like that bratty behavior. Yeah, it's it's really off-putting to us, and we don't like, like, I'm not going to lie. If I saw it, I'd be like, what a freaking little shit. Like, you know, what the hell? Uh, but again, I would not feel comfortable if anyone did that to my kid. Obviously, it's different. Um, but, um, yeah, for, for me, if Brooklyn was misbehaving, I would prefer if someone, like, if I'm not there, I'm obviously not doing a great, great job, but I would prefer someone to come be like, Hey, is that your kid? Like, you know, mm. can you control your kid? Um, 
because like I said, if I saw someone do that to my child, my instant thing is to, you know, throw hands. Yeah. Uh, but I did feel sorry for them because I, I understood as an island girl uh, why they did it. Yeah. But I think in in today's society, we, we can't do that. <laughs> Honestly, like my my views when I saw it, I was yeah. like, "Nah, man, good yeah. on them!" Yeah. Like, uh, like what a little shit! Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like jumping on the counters like that, and like you know, when you look at the like, so the employee tried to take the calm approach and yeah. that, but he was throwing things in her face. Yeah. <laughs> like at one point, like you go, like I think in general, yeah. like if there's something happening, you got to take action instead yeah. of just pull out your phone and record it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's how I looked at it. Like, yeah. oh, like even me just seeing it, like I would have wanted to fussy him too. Yeah, but that's they it. didn't. They didn't fussy him. They just took him out of the, yeah. the, the restaurant. But yeah, yeah, I was like, nah, man. Yeah, like that kind of like if it was just him, you know, throwing a tantrum on the floor, yeah. blah blah. But he was like physically throwing things yeah. at the employee. He was, yeah. Who was trying to like you know because yeah. you could see she was trying to calm him down and she yeah. was taking the the the, the more, um, what's the word? Like a conservative approach, yeah. it was more like you know, yeah. Please don't yeah. stop, stop, don't. Yeah. Um, but that kid just like yeah. he even jumped up on the counter. Yeah. So it was like it was getting, you know, at at what point do you then step in to help? Yeah. Like, I totally get that, but like I, said, I think we're just different because if if like I said, um, I think I'm I'm, I'm on the fence because I get it, but I'm also like, I I can't help but picture my kid. Yeah, so my kids being an asshole. I can't picture my kids. I can. <laughs> like, pic- I, I know like, I shouldn't because, but I think with any kid, I always for some reason think of my own child. Yeah. Um. So I automatically always go to okay, if Brooklyn was doing that, and then I saw someone do that to her, even though she's in the wrong, obviously, um, uh, I can't help but be like. But oh. you would be there though. Yeah, which is I totally get, but I think in the I'm trying to put myself in that p- situation where I wasn't there. But then I saw what happened, or I found out what happened. I would I would be so mad because I'd be like, "No, you don't touch <laughs> my child." Um, again, totally get it because my mum or you know our family would have totally given us a hiding if we were behaving like that. Yeah. But um, uh, I I I think he could have handled it a bit better. Like, if you're gonna step in, step in. But I think like just. The way I saw her manhandling that kid, it was because it's a big island guy. Yeah, I didn't think it was manhandling though. He just I pulled think, him down and threw him out. Nah, I think he was full like just the like because we're masangi. I think that's the <laughs> difference for us. We're used to you know the rough sort of approach. The yeah, true. Um, so in our heads, it's ele ila, but <laughs> <laughs> but a, a little balangi kid um, who's probably never ever had that sort of treatment from someone in their life. I think it was a, a big shock. But maybe they need it. Like, for me, like, <laughs> if if you obviously have Gaia parents, like, you have, like, your parents are not, like... Yeah. I don't know, I'm just assuming. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, they're not there to stop yeah. him. So, like, obviously they're pretty, pretty shitty parents. Mm. And if, like, that's the way he behaves, you could tell that, the, that he gets away with a lot yeah, anyway. I get that. So maybe somebody, like, doing that will yeah. open his eyes so that he will not do... Like yeah, that behavior again. <laughs> but didn't it come out that he was like autistic or something? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I was even more like. I think like, everybody, like, because I, 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 they throw out aut- autism for to explain for everything, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one just has no, like, <laughs> no empathy for this child. Nah. <laughs> no, I think because we're used to it. That's yeah. why. That's why I, I felt sorry for the island guys because. Like I said, we, we as kids, we got way worse than what that kid got. Um, but at the same time, as a parent, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, we're getting questions. What's going on? Okay, Rachel is referring to, you know, the video about the guy only dating, don't date Samoan girls? Yeah. Um, so I think men like that just don't have respect for women in general. They'll claim Samoan women are too tough, but say white women are easy or weaker. It's an insult both ways. Mm, yeah, hundred percent. That's so true, though. Yeah. Because I don't even think Balangi girls are weak. Yeah. If anything, no offense to the Samoan guy, your ass is weak. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like it, to them, it's like they they think they're you know because they're physically stronger. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know. They 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 feel more superior. Yeah. If they they're with a, a you know what I mean, 
Whereas, like, if they were with, like, Island Girl and they, they try to pull that shit, like, yeah. you know, we will fussy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about us. I can't help it. Like, we were just brought up to be tough. Yeah. So. Which is, it, it's bad, though. Yeah. Like, but, I don't know. I, <laughs> okay, Rob says, what's the ratio that your partners get the right gift for you on Christmas? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys not discuss this before? No, it, it just shows he didn't get me a present yet. <laughs> <laughs> I had my present like weeks ago. For <laughs> this guy's still trying to figure it out. To be fair, you said you don't want anything, so it gives yeah. you nothing to work with. Well, like, if I don't want anything, then anything would be good. Yeah, but you can't just get anything, because then what if it's not something you actually really wanted? Well, what happened to, like, Christmas surprise? <laughs> Yeah, I feel for you, cuz, uh, uh, ratio, get your little, um. <laughs> oh, Katie wait, wait. also said it's the maybe they need it for me. For when you, yeah, see. maybe they need it. Nah, man, I, don't, I get it, but I can't help it. Like, you know, what I was talking to about to my siblings, my siblings sometimes do this thing when we go into drive throughs and, you know, the kid will make, you know, get the order wrong or like they've done something yeah. or forget to pack something. I am, I'm very, you know, because I always picture my kid I can't help it. I just, if I found out someone yelled at her or made her cry over, like, they forgot something. Yeah. I, 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 so I'm really nice. I'm like, hey, look, you forgot this. Like, you didn't pack this. Mm. Like, rah, rah. unless they, they start being rude back, then obviously then you show them that you're someone. But, um, majority of the time, I just, you know, I'm very polite. Whereas yeah, but like that, the Balagi lady, the employee, she was trying to be like, oh, no, she was I'm trying to have about a- like other stuff. Like, you know, oh. I just think, with kids, my head automatically goes, now that I'm a parent, because I wasn't like that before. I, I was an asshole before. Mm. Like, I used to fussy kids who aren't mine. And that's yeah. that's a huge regret of mine now, because I'm just like, my mum will tell me all the time, you don't touch my kids. Or other people would be like, you don't touch other people's kids. And I didn't learn that until I had my own kid. Yeah. So I think, yeah. But Katie's saying, um, oh, Mel. Hi, Mel. Hey, Mel. Oh, no, what's happened? Uh, okay. And Rob's asking, Jules dodging my questions like Neo in the Matrix. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? <laughs> the ratio. <laughs> What's the ratio that your partners get the right gift for you on Christmas? Look, I'm going to be honest. I am really easy to please. Yeah. And I don't mean that in like a dirty way. I mean it like if you just get like, it's the gesture that counts yeah. in my in my opinion. Um, And it can, you can never go wrong if it's, you know... I would say seven out of ten. Okay. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I think there's still room for improvement. <laughs> nah, I'm <really> joking. <laughs> but she doesn't want anything, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not honest. Like for me, like effort, 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 effort is yes. the is the main thing. Like if you're yeah. gonna give me a cheap ass present that you only just got like the night before, yeah, yeah nah, that's like if you get her an Australia hat from the <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, but even it, like I. You know, I would prefer like, you know, if somebody was to put effort into making something for yeah. me, I, I appreciate that more than I would like if you bought me a thousand dollar gift. Yeah. Like for me, um, like those, the effort, the effort. Yeah. That's what counts. Yeah. I think, See, I answered. I think Kaz just wants an answer, eh? like just a definitive answer of like, just, just give wants me this. To, yeah. <laughs> she is beginning to believe. <laughs> what? Mark, she is beginning to believe. Who, you? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm still, like, trying to process the lungy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Knew he'd come for me. Um, Yeah. Do you have any Chris- Christmas questions? Uh, I was going to, it's not so much Christmas, but I think, um, what is the hugest thing you learnt this year? Because I'm not going to lie, man, this year... Oh yeah, man. I I feel like it was the worst year. (laughs) Um, this year I learned not. Um, what did I learn? Now, since you're thinking, Rob is saying seven to ten is a wild split. Would you be happy with a bag of snacks from Coles? (laughs) (laughs) Bag of snacks is way way better. (laughs) You said that. Uh, Rachel. <laughs> what? Like, is he going to get me something and a bag of snacks or? I don't 
I miss a question? No. I think he's just asking you, would you be happy with a bag of snacks from Coles? I said effort, man, effort. <laughs> <laughs> and Katie said, rack up those flybys. <laughs> I was looking at that the other day. I think I have like 43,000 points. Oh, what you use them? Because <laughs> the stuff on there, most the good ones were sold out. Oh, and yeah. then the other ones are just like, yeah, like, well, who am I going to give that to? True. <laughs> like, they don't have many toys on there and stuff. Uh, yeah. And that's what I needed. Um, Sorry, what was your question? I think it was like, oh, she's I forgot. Do you guys remember what I <laughs> Wait, didn't we have a family member who got a bag of snacks for Christmas? <laughs> Full exposed. exposed, man. Exposed. Okay, we have to talk about it now because Cuz brought it up. Who brought it up? Rob? Yeah. Rob from Smoking Mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy you attack if you're coming after us. <laughs> um, that was a mad Christmas though. We did a, we did a, was it Secret Santa? Yeah. Chris Kringle type thing. So we did that. I forgot what year it was. I think 2017, 2016. I think 17. Oh, no, because Baby no, one was of just them. born. Brooklyn was oh, just yeah. born. So 2016, we did um, Secret Santa and it was our whole family. So it's uncles, aunties, grandma, cousins. Um, and I think you organized it. Great job, Mom. by the way. So you, you know, you, you allocated who's getting, like, you would do it and then you tell us who we got as a Secret Santa. Oh, mum did that. Mom. Oh, yeah. thank you, auntie. Um, so. <laughs> I forgot what the budget was. Was it 50? I think it was. I think it was 50. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember if it was 20 or 50, but it was one of those. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was unfair, though. <laughs> it was a little bit unfair because no one really stuck to the budget. So some people bought stuff yeah. that was up, like over the budget. That was me. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure we did, too. We went either just on the budget or just the, over it. Yeah. But a lot of some people went even over that, like yeah. a lot higher. <laughs> so that while we're opening presents, there's a lot of sort of expensive gifts being exchanged to like other people. And the people. worst thing was it was one by one, so we all watched. We're all watching <laughs> each <laughs> present being opened. And then I w I'm not going to say who. Should we say who? Um, I heard like you know throughout the whole thing, like wasn't the budget <laughs> this much? Wasn't the budget this much, Rara? Um, <laughs> I, I did go way over though for my one. I think yeah, a few of us did. You know what was funny though? Um, the majority of people who who did each other. So let's say you 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 spent heaps for someone else. Mm. They actually spent heaps for their person. Like it was like pretty even. Yeah. So like the whatever someone spent on this person, it was the same amount that person spent on. So it was all pretty even, except when it got to this particular family member. <laughs> we expose them or not should we expose them i don't know um <laughs> yeah <laughs> well what does that person care <laughs> oh man okay so like i said everyone was pretty even like i remember it like so vividly yeah that we'll all... i think um some of them <laughs> got like all black skin yeah some like of them got like expensive ass shoes yeah someone got like a foot massage machine like it was just I got a, a bag. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like really pretty. It was pretty even. So like whatever the, someone received for Christmas was whatever they spent on someone else. Yeah. Until they got to this family member. And um, <laughs> what was it? It was like she a- She got a bag. She got a bag of uh, New Zealand snacks. Oh no, he. Sorry, he got a bag. He got a bag. Sorry. Yeah. So when they opened it, <laughs> it was very awkward for the rest of us. <laughs> It was legit a bag full of just New Zealand snacks, so like yeah. rashes, yeah. curlies, and, and the chocolates. That's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. But I think, like, <laughs> we all just, like, played it off, like, oh, you know, whatever. Like, you know, it is what it is. But it was. <laughs> but you could tell, like. <laughs> but the worst thing was it had to be, like, this particular <laughs> family member <laughs> <laughs> who's like, you don't mess with that one. That's the one you don't mess like, with. Like, if you're going to. If you're gonna buy, if you're gonna stuff up. You don't stuff up, well, not stuff up, but you don't get like snacks for this particular person. So then, after like all of it's finished, <laughs> that's when the truth came out. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so the person who received it obviously felt a type of way about. They were being a good sport about it, but you can <laughs> but they could also feel the. No, because I heard who just went to Coles right before Christmas. 
<laughs> right before they came over. We just quickly went shopping before they came here. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt bad because that person obviously felt stink. But at yeah. the same time, we're just like, really, man? <laughs> I'll have those snacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think his dog took her home though Yeah obviously yeah. <laughs> well, it, was just, it was a gift <laughs> uh, But yeah <laughs> But yeah if yeah, Secret Santa I think I don't know That was the last, <laughs> last That was the last time, last we, time did. we did it The first and last I'm pretty sure Yeah Oh what's they say Oh what Who's this Oh yeah 2016 Rachel said the same and she was like, definitely remember, we're so embarrassed. <laughs> uh, Weaver was laughing at it. I had a picture book. <laughs> Weaver said he got a picture book. Uh, I remember John got a bag and he thought it was a girl's bag. So I tried to soften the blow by telling him, nah, it's just very European. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty even, yeah. <laughs> Mark. Pretty even, yeah. Love my three pack of socks. <laughs> Wait, who had him? I can't remember who had him. What do you mean pretty even? What? I feel like it was even. I got like a the same amount what I spent. Oh, maybe it was just you. Because oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't get the same amount. I spent more than 100. <laughs> what did Rob say? I got Mad Max on 4K cheering. Oh, yeah. The Mellow Puffs looking at everyone else getting expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was funny ass, yes, man. Yeah, that was. was like, after you? it's always like when you go through the yeah. <laughs> the pain and then you laugh about it after. <laughs> Actually, no, we us cousins laughed about no, it. We could have stopped laughing, man. Honest, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Because from the beginning to like towards the end, I could only hear like there was a budget, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but you didn't have to go. You know, you don't go under budget. <laughs> To be fair, it was like, was it like 50 bucks worth of snacks in there? I don't know. It was a lot of snacks. I did see a lot of snacks, but um, I don't know. It was just funny because you see the foot massage and the, <laughs> the expensive shoes. And then you see the snacks. In my family, we just open our presents all at once in our own corners. So I wasn't used to doing it one by one and everyone staring at me for my reaction. All these people I didn't know. <laughs> That was the first time we met Rachel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah poor True. thing. Rob's family does that as well. Like, in their um, own corners? No, uh, they give out presents all at the same time. Nah, we do one by one. Yeah, we always do one by one because you want to see their reaction. <laughs> yeah, and it prolongs it too. So. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to see what everyone got. That's true too. No, I think we spent ages trying to look for weavers. Did we? We had to pause for ages because no one could find his gift. Oh. And, we were just, <laughs> and, and now he just wrote, I got a picture book. <laughs> he was like, oh, maybe it's something the big. <laughs> it's not under the tree. <laughs> Poor guy. No, that was a fun Christmas. We need to do it again at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe next year because... This year was like, yeah. This year was a, it was a bad year this year. I agree. Like, I oh, I just here. remembered your question. <coughs> oh, um, sorry, yeah. What did we learn this year? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> Answer my question. <laughs> uh, I think I learned... Um, I think I was, uh, 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 I was being too nice. Yep. So I think I'm learning to... Um, not be a bitch, but like not let people walk all over me yeah. anymore. That's good. Actually, no, sorry, I'm wrong. Okay. No, we had that conversation. We, cause when, after, remember we had that lunch yeah. and we, we, we put out everything on the table as well. Yeah. And I told, um, what, like my biggest learning this year is to not be too controlling. Cause I can be too controlling sometimes. Um, and, and it goes back to that question where, you know, you want to do everything yourself yep. and you don't ask for help. Yeah. And that's the same with podcasting. So this is the reason why I do a lot is because I don't ask for help. Yeah. <laughs> and then like, I end up becoming like, you know, really, um, shitty yep. and like snappy and stuff. But, um, yeah, that's understandable. that 
that was a, the biggest learning for me yeah. is to not do that. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> because, like, you know, I think at the end there, the last few episodes, it got too serious. And yeah. we weren't enjoying it anymore. Yeah. Um, and that's what we we gotta like we're getting back to is just having fun yeah. when we record. I agree, because I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> some memories. <laughs> um, what's yours? <clears throat> what did I learn this year? Um, I think there was a lot of stuff I did learn, but probably the biggest was just to um, how do I say it? Yeah, I think I'm learning to be like unapologetically myself. Hmm. Um, okay. Because I would shy away from how I really felt. Yeah. I guess. Um, and it wouldn't come out, and then it would just fester. Yeah. When it's it's partly my fault because I'm not really saying anything. True. Or doing anything about it, I'm just yeah letting it sit with me and not be proactive about it. Um, but I also learned how resilient everyone is. Not just myself, but like especially through this lockdown. Yeah. Um, yeah, I learned a lot, especially about um. So it was that, and also communication, like with my kid. Mm. That was a huge thing I learned was you need to just constantly communicate with them. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot that I need to learn with parenting as well. <laughs> it's a hard gig, man. It's fetching hard. Like you think, like I, I thought I went through it all. Like you know, my first one. <laughs> six years yeah and then and then i had my second one yeah. and it's it's like i feel like a new mom again yeah like I, I totally forgot yeah <laughs> i like buried that yeah <laughs> but uh, yeah it was tough it's tough but i'm not changing anything i love my kids and everything but it's and then you realize like what worked for one doesn't yeah. work for the other one yeah so yeah um i, I need to learn more of that next yeah. year um, but I think that's a constant learning for parenting anyway. I think so like too. Parenting. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. But managing that with everything else, I need to do that better and yeah. not be controlling. That's good. I think Rob said both of you guys did some real shadow work in lockdown. Well done. Oh, oh, so, thank you. So loyal. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so <Silent. laughs> <laughs> Uh, th- yeah, I, I think Rob too. Rob Rob did a lot as well. I agree. Mm. Like they just killed it this year. Yeah, like, Smoking Mirrors killed it this year. Like I'm so proud of them. Same. Like they've been pretty um pretty consistent. Yeah, I, I've been a little envious of that. But me too. Yeah. Like I'm like next year I want to be like I want to beat you. <laughs> <laughs> what a competitive guy. <laughs> nah. But I just want us to be like you know the same energy. I guess. Yeah. We didn't have a bit of a break. We had a few breaks. Yeah, yeah, we've had a few throughout the year. Yeah, I think they only had one. Um, I think they had one. Yeah, it was around the same time. Yeah, but they came back earlier. Yeah, but yeah, it'll be good. Next year will be good. Man, Fitch, like hopefully there's no more lockdowns, and then it'll be a good year. I, I agree. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm done with it then. <laughs> <laughs> like I think if there's another lockdown, okay, I'm going. <laughs> like moving countries. Just go to America, man. They don't even do lockdowns. I bet you podcast from a cave <laughs> <laughs> out in the desert or something. We're just like, welcome back. It's cold. <laughs> no, sorry. Are you all right? I was seeing if there was any more comments. Um, man, did you see that? Um, I'm going to kill the buzz here, but that um recent news. Um, those kids, the trampoline yeah. in Tasmania. That's horrible. So apparently, um. Um, there was a school event last day or something. Yeah, last day celebration, and these kids were, uh, they had jumpy castles and and um, what is it called? Those balls, those um inflatable balls. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's called. Z- Zuma, <coughs> Zumba, or something like that. Um, and um, yeah. Apparently, there was like a a really strong wind, and it blew the jumpy castle. 10 meters high and yeah. kids fell off and and five of them died that's horrible man like that that's so heartbreaking i, I can't imagine yeah. how the, the parents feel that was also like poor nicks oh uh, yeah yeah that was horrible when i saw it um is it sis cooking with nicks yeah yeah so when she, when i saw the story she put up of her in hospital i was like please no i know and then when she said not good news whanau and i was like please no 
And then she said it. Um, so yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. And yeah. that's um, <clears throat> uh, what is it? CWK <clears throat> Nix. Yeah. Um, she she does a lot of um, bike live videos. Yeah. <clears throat> Like yeah. she's such a great influencer, like from where she was to where she is now. Like, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I've been, yeah been following her for a while. Yeah. I think you told me about her yeah. ages ago, and then um yeah, I love her videos. Yeah, and she's funny as hell. She's so good, man. <laughs> um, but then she, recently she um she was so excited and yeah found out she was pregnant, and then yeah. yeah, and then lost um posted up another video of her in hospital and she had lost the baby. Yeah, I don't know my voice is so weird. <clears throat> You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Do that thing Rob taught us. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you have anything? Um, I think, um, I, I guess it's just talking about what we're, like, you know, what we're going to be doing next year. Like, yes. I'm looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't wait because we, we have had a long break. <laughs> very, very long break. Yeah. And, and I've missed it. Yeah. I think it was re- it was needed, and now we're just like we're super pumped to yeah. to get back into it and really see where we can take this next. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. I yeah. mean, we've both got a lot of ideas, so that five months gave us like you know a lot of um time to think about where yeah. to take this forward. Um, yeah, and God willing, there's no more lockdowns next year. Uh, we will be doing a lot yeah. more because we did try to do it like online. Mm. Like the whole um, through Zoom or something? Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, we did not enjoy that. Like the boys still killed it when they did it. Yeah. But I find that with us, it's not the same energy, I suppose, because yeah. we need to be together to do it. Yeah. Um, which is fine. Everyone's different. Um, But yeah, I, d- I wasn't a huge fan of that. Mm, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard to set up. And then not only that, like the, the, the camera, like the quality was just so grainy. Yeah. <laughs> Desiree and Sharon. Hi. Hi. And James. Hi, James. Hey, James. Oh. Okay. So we, we're just <laughs> we keep doing that. It's like, Sorry. oh, yeah, wave and then just silent. <laughs> Good to see you both. Oh, we love you. We love you. Hi. <coughs> oh, also, shout out, Stepera. I'm wearing the, the lashes. <laughs> I can do zoom, zoom, zoom up too much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing the Stepera lashes. They look Check it out. Um, yeah, no, the glue man, like it's the best glue. That's what I've heard. Like honestly, I wore uh, Caleb's tree first. I yeah. wore them, and like that night because I can't sleep with with lashes on, so I take them out. But yeah, bloody hell, when I took it off, like you can tell it's strong glue. Yeah, like, that it's amazing. I love it. Like it, it could last for days. Yeah, I need to order me some. Yeah, I got the um the royal royal lashes. They look really good, cause thank you. Yeah, cause I know you don't you don't like the actual um, what's it called? The mag oh magnetic like the, ones. No, the ones where you get it done at the. Oh yeah, I'm too scared. Yeah, I'm too scared to get it done. Yeah. professionally. Yeah, cause like I had you lose a lot of lashes yeah. or something, and, and, then it, I think and when it takes I told you, like, ages. Two hours, you were like, what two, the hours? Hell? Yeah, two, two hours, yeah, two. I have no. I don't have two hours, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and the glue yeah exceptional nah, the glue is good and yeah. because like i get like my eyes are always like uh there's certain weather where it's like really watery or yeah. like when it's hot like you know um and i sweat a lot yeah like you know, if i use other ones they just melt off <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these are these are really good yeah <laughs> um so yeah those on live if you have any questions hit us up um anything <laughs> <laughs> I but good. i i yeah i think i don't have anything more um, yeah i think we just um oh shout outs to our guests that we had this year yes so um are shout out to are shout out to james and mihaka um and also mama jane's grazing box yes so we every time we have guests over or like even events yeah. like we order the the grazing box the sandwiches are so good yeah um yeah that that's our go-to that's our go-to <laughs> and it's so easy like we just like we don't need to sit there and make it. It's all done for you. Just open the box and serve. Yeah. Yeah. James really is cool. asking um, what we're doing for Christmas and any plans for next year. Ooh, um, Christmas this year. 
I'm gonna be with my mom. Yeah. Um. So I think it's just family get together because you know lock lockdown. I think we're all just eager to get back together and yeah. just have a massive feed. Yeah. Um. And then next year we're we're um moving. Yeah. Yeah. Moving Same. house. So hopefully we find another place because it's it, like it's hard to find a place with a media room. Yeah. We were lucky. We were blessed with this this house that we they had a media room and we converted it to a studio. Yeah. So hopefully we have something like that. Otherwise, we're going to use like a garage. Yeah. Robert yeah, said, and Weaver. Shout out to Weaver. Oh, and shout out to Weaver. Thanks, cuz. We was uh, twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, Christmas, Christmas. What am I doing? Um, first half will be with my family. Uh, my mom and my siblings. It'll be really good because um, I think I haven't seen all of them together since my cousin's 21st. Yeah. But my poor sister's working. So I think the rest of us will be there um, and our two girls. Mm-hmm. And then my baby will go and spend Christmas with her dad's side. Um, plans for next year. We are moving as well. Um, I yeah. think a couple months after you move. If I had it my way, we'd probably move with Jules. <laughs> 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 but we just live too far. And um, like I'm from the West. And Jules, she's from the southwest, so um, there's no way we're gonna s- <laughs> move to each other's west. <laughs> there's no west west. No, there's just, there's just yeah. She's Jules is always in, in this between area. west. Yeah, it's always in this area, and I'm always in in the west area. So um, I think we're just content with our our certain like you know neighborhoods and like yeah. I'm so yeah. used to living out west. I can't. I'd love to move out these ways, but it's just it's too much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, but you guys will probably find something close to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely because of um Brody's school as well. Yeah. Don't want to. Um, he's already said he doesn't want to change schools. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those that jumped on the live, um, if you see us looking this way, we're also recording our episodes. Yeah, <laughs> like, like how rude. Are they? <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, it's like why do they keep doing that? Um, Katie's asking, do you have topics you want to cover soon? Um, we have a few lined up. Um some pretty deep ones but where uh, there's another learning from this year as well we were going to try and balance it out so do a lot more um fun topics as well yeah. um and and maybe an episode um every now and then where we just talk shit like we yeah. are today um because we're trying to get back into just doing it for the fun of it yeah i think uh, it got too serious yeah but we want to make it a bit light as well yeah yeah so that'll be good hmm I think we didn't really answer her question though. <laughs> um, topics. There's one that I really want to do um, regarding like beauty. Yeah. Uh, beauty and hair. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, I have it all on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> it's over there. Recording. <laughs> it's recording over there. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Nah, there's there's a few. Do you remember any? Um. Well, a lot of my friends and family are doing like their own hair my friends told me the the sex education one was really good a part two would be great that actually was a uh, was very popular yeah so yeah. i think we'll try and talk about that again i'm are you taking topic suggestions yes please yes please <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to tune in the new year all love ladies and enjoy thank you desiree and sharon thank you thank you oh and james is gone too i think have the best day my loves hopefully catch up soon gotta go Bye, James. We love you. Bye, James. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you're amen. (laughs) I know, eh? Talking about, like, Christmas always makes me hungry. (laughs) But then I'm hungry all the time, so. Man, I just love Christmas because the feeds, man. Yeah. have the best feeds. We always say, like, oh, man, I can't wait for the food and blah, blah, blah. But then on the day, you can't get to every single food. Legit. Yeah. (laughs) I don't know if that's just Islanders, though. Is that just Islanders? Maybe it's with other cultures. Nah, I know Rob's family is, like... The they same as well. They have heaps of food. And that's not even Christmas. I've been over a couple of times and I'm just like, yeah. damn. <laughs> South Africans, man. Though. Such like a they, spread. They I was like, what? <laughs> good food though. Really yeah. good food. Yeah. Um. All right. I think we will end it at that. What's um. That? It was actually really cool. Like yeah. this, our first live and it was, it was really, really, really good. Had fun. Like my biceps guys are just uh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> just is that me like just those like, memes? It's big. Where, where those <laughs> memes where there's the one guy like just <laughs> muscles on this one, the other one's like skinny ass. 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Rob asked, what's your signature dish? Pork. <laughs> your guys' pork. pork is so good, but I don't. I can't stress enough how good it is. Because when you guys do make it for other events, I'm just like, are they making pork? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have uh, roast pork. Um, I'll, everyone loves that. And um, bacon egg pies. Bacon egg pies is really mm. good. Everyone loves that. I, I, I get sick of it, so I yeah. don't really make it, but everyone's been dying for it. Mad. But, no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have a signature dish. Yeah, seafood salad. I love your seafood salad. I love seafood salad. Yeah. Okay, that's mine. Seafood salad. That's what I'm making, actually. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. Uh. <laughs> I'm making fresh air. Oh, <laughs> but she's made seafood salad for every, like, <laughs> that's so 10 true. years of oh, Christmas. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Fraud. <laughs> um, yeah, what's everyone else's? I know Rob, Rob always does the ham. But Rob's signature dish, and not just for uh, not for Christmas, but like he makes the ma- like the best burgers. He really does. Yeah, and that's been like since I was little. Well, not little, but when I was like, because you you guys have been together for ages. Yeah. So like, you make me sound old. <laughs> like, you guys have been when so- I was little. <laughs> Rob yeah, was sorry, making. sorry. No, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> Whoops. Um, <laughs> no, because I was like what fifteen. Yeah, I was 15 when you guys got together. Yeah. And um, I'm like... I was 20. 20. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love how we're just not mentioning how old we are now. <laughs> yeah, I I'm, am 33. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm 28. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, since you guys started and when he first made burgers for us, oh, my gosh. I was like, you, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he makes... Um, uh, mess- Makes the best burgers and his own, like, he uh, makes his own sauce as well. Yeah. That sounded really bad, but. <laughs> oh, it's really delicious. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rachel said, potato bake. I'm a one-trick pony. <laughs> but I love her potato bake. Yeah. It's so it's good. The best. Rachel, yeah. your potato bake is, like, so good. Yeah. I just can't put it again. Sorry. I always love, like, when someone else makes food. Like, your mum, I, I don't like anyone's chop suey either way. Oh, actually, no, her and Auntie Helen. Their chop suey is like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not a really big fan of chop suey, but yeah. That, yeah. That, like, I can eat that. But then I bought one um some from the shops, and I don't like the ones with um ginger in it. Yeah, that and, like, vegetables. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, like, isn't, like, when I see vegetables, I'm like, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're supposed to eat vegetables, but, like, not in chop suey. Yeah. Like, we've we've never really had We've vegetables. never grown up with that. No, either. I don't know anyone else who's had that. Yeah. And then when I see it at people's houses or like when I go somewhere or like when I buy it at a shop and it's mm. got vegetables, I'm like, meat. <laughs> just, just meat. Uh, what's the, what about dessert? I love pineapple pie. Oh, yeah, true. Auntie Helen's pineapple pie. Shout out to you, Auntie. So good. Oh, your mum makes bungy popo too. Yeah, yeah, recently. That's yeah. Delicious. <clears throat> but yeah, pineapple pie is my, my go to dessert. True. I don't know what mine is. I thought ginger addition was a Samoan thing because Tongans don't add it. I feel like it is a Samoan yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I don't know why they do we that. We never though. like my my mom never makes nah, supper sweet with ginger, but yeah. lately people have just been adding it. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I, the ones we buy has ginger in it, and I hate it. Yeah, I don't like the taste I don't of like, it. Yeah, but it's too overpowering. Yeah, you can full on taste ginger. But most of like um, people I know, they don't put. Um, Ginger. I don't know. Maybe it's because like a s- Asian dish. And <laughs> trying to make it more Asian and chuck the ginger in. No, just keep it simple. I'm really like, because I got one not long ago. Um, I forgot where it was. Mama fans. Somewhere. Like in Bankstown, mm. I think. And um, when I when I colored it, like opened it up, there was bok choy in it. Oh, I don't mind bok choy. I don't mind it, but not with chop suey. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I don't mind it in no. other dishes. What the hell? But when I saw it on top of the suppasui, I was like, "This is not an island of suppasui." <laughs> and then, like, it was—it wasn't the nicest. Yeah, I think it's just different because we grew up with our mums and aunties making like home cooked dishes. Yeah. So that when we buy it at other places, it doesn't taste the same. Yeah, true. It was still decent, but it wasn't like it wasn't islander suppasui. It was more singer. Mm. I have to say, my dad makes the best raw fish. Oh, yeah. Um, we call it oka. Yeah. Um, I love his one, and I've had other people's ones that don't like it because yeah. they add like different things in it. Whereas yeah. Dad just keeps it simple. Um, he has fish. Oh my 
question. Um, oh, shit. Now I forgot what he had. Uh, tomatoes, yeah. cucumbers, onion, and, and then the, the coconut milk. Yeah. I don't know what else he has in there. Like, those are the main things. I, yeah. That's the only thing I see in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and, I, and I love that. But other people add, like, too many other veggies and then you don't have much of the the coconut milk yeah. in there um but there was one i tried um yeah, we tried recently. It last week. yeah it was so good it was beautiful it was heaps i loved good. it yeah and they added like a a, a bit chili. of chili yeah and i'm not a spicy girl i'm trying to get there but like it was like a good kick to it yeah it was so good like, it, was, it was beautiful yeah so i was like oh dad someone beat you <laughs> <laughs> Katie just said, first agenda item at the next Samoan committee. Oh, and she loves Oka too. Not oh, yeah, all. I love Oka. Rob hates it, though. Yeah. <laughs> he hates fish. Yeah, it doesn't like the smell. I remember when you were trying to, like, prolong not opening it. Bro, like. Because he was sitting right next to you. So I was like, can I open it? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Even, like, Elingi. Oh, no way. Like, bro, that guy, like, well, you know, because he hates the smell of it. So after I eat it, I have to fit to sanitize the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole kitchen. You have to, like, everything is everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Siblings eat it. Siblings eat it, but I. Oh wait. I don't know what Katie means. My si siblings eat it, but I love it. The siblings eat oka. I think and she loves. I think so. Sorry, my eyes are bad. I'm getting really hungry now that we're talking about all this food. Because remember last year I we feel had like food. Island food. Yeah. And our, and our Chris, last Christmas one, we had heaps of food. Next 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 time. year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a full like mukbang. Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah. But yeah. I gotta lose weight first. <laughs> like, I don't think I can pack on any more. <laughs> like I'm starting to feel it though. Oh, okay. Like when I'm walking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you you've gone overboard when you start feeling the jiggles. So oh, cause No, I'm be honest, but yeah. Nah, definitely one of my focus next year as well. Yeah, like, I want to be yeah. more active next year too because I've been like just walking, but I want to do more. Yeah. Because I was never a gym person. I'm still trying to push myself to like start gymming it. Yeah, same. I want like I want I want to get my strength back and my energy back. Yeah. Like that's the main thing. I, I don't really like. Uh, yeah, part of me does want to look good as well, but mostly I just need the the strength and energy for these damn kids. <laughs> Like Logan's now uh, crawling, yeah. he's starting to crawl, and yeah, so I need a prep for that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get there. Next year will be a good year. Yeah, I said that this. I said that this year. Uh, yeah. resolutions. I said yeah, but then Virgin pregnant after that lockdown. I was yeah. like, ah, uh, nah. Yeah, we'll do it next year. <laughs> new year, new me. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. I know because we've got so much shit about that. Like, new year, new me. Um. Yeah. Um. Is there anything else? If there's nothing else on live, we will end it at that. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Thank you so much. This was fun. It was, it was so really fun. fun. Like I said, my biceps are just. <laughs> <laughs> you you actually my... did really well. Held that pretty steady. Uh, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we see it, like it's like just the roof, <laughs> the fucking ceiling. It's just up to you. <laughs> 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 all right thank you guys right, thank you guys bye bye are you sure that you want to end the live video and now all right um and we've <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> um yeah well that was our christmas special um and our live we went live for the first time yeah that was um really interesting yeah. really good um but we will definitely be back more consistent next year. Yeah. Um, we got a lot of ideas. So yeah. Um, hope for um hope you have a good Christmas. Um, be safe and yeah, happy new year. Happy as well. new year, guys. See Thank you in the new you. year. Bye. Bye.